Temple's willing to live with that long three-point shot. Mark Williams really worked on his game, lengthening that range. They freed up to Ficozzi off the window and in. Ficozzi! Gardner all over Cummings, and it's Mark Williams for a deep three, and Williams connects. Jesse Reed drives in, lost it in flight. Another turnover on American. And Reed swats it away from Daniel Dingle, and he'll solo for the first two points for the Eagles tonight. Dingle with 15 to shoot, looked inside that time for Watson. It will stay with the Owls, 13 to shoot. Hands is a guy that certainly isn't a three-point shooter like Jesse Reed or John Schoof, but here has a lot of confidence in his hands from the top of the arc. An American climbing back into this one, just down four in Philly. 19-11, Temple with the eight-point lead over American at home. We mentioned the success with the Princeton offense and Mike Brennan, and it all stems from Princeton legendary head coach Pete Carrill. He was the head coach there from 67 to 96, 29 years, 514 wins. You take a look at the coaching tree and circle two names, Mike Brennan and also yourself. Craig Robinson is sitting next to me. What makes this guy, Pete Carrill, so special that a lot of coaches around the country utilize that Princeton offense? Well, I think playing for coach showed you a lot about how this game should be played and how you want to play. But I like the mentoring part. I like learning life lessons, and, and that's what really got me into coaching is passing along some of those life lessons. Bench. Williams threw it away that time to Pee Wee Gardner. Good opportunity to turn your defense into offense here. Ninth turnover on the Owls tonight. And they go right back to the hot hand and Panzer. Gardner taking on Dingle. Here's a three by Schultz with Cummings in his way and Schultz drains it. Seven points for him thus far. And he hasn't had a break here. He looks like a bit winded. Swiped away by Pee Wee Gardner. McDonald comes in and Gardner, boy, that was a hard foul. And I see the officials motioning as a flagrant here. Could be a flagrant one. And in this situation, they can go to the monitor and take a look as Pee Wee Gardner is down. And it will be officially a flagrant one against Jimmy McDonald. So it will be two shots here for Pee Wee Gardner and the possession to America. And I think the right call in that situation. I, I, I agree. I agree. I thought that it was a hard foul, not necessarily a dirty foul. And I see McDonald now going right over to say, to apologize. It's good sportsmanship there. That's the first point tonight from Pee Wee, who got his name in 10th grade in the AAU circuit in Houston. As an elder statesman said, you're the youngest and shortest guy on the team, so we're going to call you Pee Wee, and that stuck with him from Stephen F. Austin, where he transferred and now here to America. Choke gives it up to Panzer. Big possession here. Gardner, tough shot, and he has it. His first field goal, three points for him. He has three personal fouls. Cummings dishes it off for Mark Williams. Panzer swatted it away. Williams rescues the possession, however. Another Williams. second chance point. It's just a, it's critical. Ten points for Williams tonight. Shows all over him. Here's Dingle for three, and he drains it. And now the lead lengthens to ten for Temple. It's going to do wonders for him. I think he's he's getting back physically, mentally getting back from that meniscus tear is what's been tough. Eight points for Dingle tonight. Fifteen second chance points for the Owls, and this will go against Temple on this end of the floor. Pee Wee Gardner with 10 to shoot, good up and under by Gardner, and he looks at the crowd and says, show me something, I got it, five points for Gardner. Giving their numbers a season ago, leading the Patriot Conference in that regard. 
Live by the three, die by the three. McDonald uncharacteristic for three. And the crowd certainly loves that when a big man goes out there and drains it from beyond. And you know, he's very capable of doing it. I'm surprised he doesn't shoot more. McDonald was just six of 14 from three last year. Those are his first points of action. Gardner, tough two, too strong, and there's Mark Williams. Stays in the game at 150 remaining. Another backdoor cut, looking in for Schoaf, compliments of Panzer, and Mike Brennan, seeing the squad trying to come back in this, calls a timeout with his team down by seven. Two backdoor cuts there for the Eagles. Temple up by seven, 90 seconds to play. Ten the shoot for Cummings. Show fall over up. Dishes it out. Josh Brown three. Short. Gardner comes down with the hard nose rebound. Big rebound by the little guy. Reed thought about it and wisely. American resets. One minute to play. To the very end, they're, wait, they're, they're running their offense. And Schoaf with the three, cuts the deficit for Temple, a seven, nothing run that time for American, and now just a four-point contest with under 50 seconds to play. I think Coach Brennan wanted to get a time out there, but didn't call it quick enough. Grand Dumpy wants to call a timeout here. And now just 10 on the shot clock with Temple holding a four-point edge. Can American come up with a stance? Three to shoot for Cummings. Schoaf all over him. Pretty good defense. Cummings too strong. And Jesse Reed has the miss. He's going to push with Charlie Jones. Left hand good. And a two-point lead for Temple. Charlie Jones. American. Timeout called by Mike Brennan, and just like that, American within a bucket and can take the lead with a three. Just three of 22 tonight from three. No timeouts, they need a three to tie. It'll be interesting to see if Coach Dumphy is a guy who fouls when he's up three. Here's Jesse Reed, over to Panzer. Show. To Panzer, two seconds left of the game. Gardner for the tie. No, and Temple survives. Temple defeats American tonight, 40 to 37, to capture their first win of the season. For our statistician Ed Spita, my partner Craig Robinson, our producer Andy Brill, and our entire ESPN crew. This is Dave Leno saying so long from Philly, where Temple survives by three over the Eagles. To watch this entire game on replay, as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.